everyone. So this morning we're in the beautiful city of Funchal. 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 So, however you want to say it. So it's the uh, main city on the island of Madeira. It's actually Madeira's capital as well. And we're just going to do a bit of exploring, and it just looks a beautiful place. Yeah, there's plenty to do. There's uh, lots of like. Madeiran foods and drinks to try. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a couple of Portuguese bits as well, but mostly Madeiran. Yeah. Uh, you've got stuff like uh, Ronaldo's hotel and a museum are just behind us. Because if you didn't know, the very famous footballer Cristiano Ronaldo was actually born on the island of Madeira, yeah. and he actually he's actually got a house here that we've just walked past. Um, so that looks stunning as well. Yeah. <laughs> we did take a sneaky pic. We'll yeah. insert that somewhere. Yeah, we'll put that over <laughs> now. Uh, you've got. I don't know if you can just make them out. Yeah, there's a big cruise behind us because a lot of cruises come here as well. Yeah, so we're at the port where the, there's three cruise ships in at the moment, so we're expecting it to be pretty busy. Um, but yeah, let's just go explore and come, come with see us. What there is. Show you around. So if you're going to try and find Ronaldo's house, here's his hotel. You'll see a big sign for it. Next to the harbour. It's literally just there. It's the white and like dark grey black building just there. Obviously he's not there. But apparently Stacy read online his brother, um, we guess lives there, manages was it just a museum or was it a museum and hotel? Uh, just a museum. I think yeah, I think yeah. so yeah. I was gonna say he's probably got a proper hotel manager, aren't he? So yeah. That's his hotel, just all along these little restaurants where you'll find his museum just at the end. When we were walking past his house, I saw like the curtain move, there was somebody there. He wasn't him, obviously, because he's obviously back in Manchester, because he plays for United, whoever the cleaner or something, or like he's, you know, brother, know, brother or something. I, I didn't look for long, I didn't want to be nosy. You did. I was looking, I was looking. So there's his museum, just at the end of uh, the hotel. We won't be doing this. Uh, it only looks tiny, it's only about Ronaldo, you know, obviously he's won a lot in his career and he's done amazing things, but it doesn't look the biggest and I don't think it's going to be worth the money really. Uh, just at the end, just where these people are, there is a dodgy looking Ronaldo um, statue. To me, he looks like he's wearing goalkeeper gloves because his hands are very big. I was going to say, I'm not going to point out what, but we'll scan over the statue and just see where people have rubbed the most, where it's If you look off. at his hands, they're very shiny. Look at what else is very shiny as well. Yeah, that people have rubbed. Like I say, his face isn't the best. And if you notice, his hands are pretty rubbed. And uh, we'll just pan past what else has been rubbed as well. Won't point it out too much. You know what I'm thinking. A penis. <laughs> we said before, this part of the harbour is where your cruise ships come in. So you've got one here. This one is very small compared to the, obviously you can't see them because there's two more behind this one. I'll uh, put a bit of drone footage on a talk of them. Two huge drone, uh, drone ships. <laughs> drone ships. <laughs> cruise ships. We're actually going on our first cruise in May to Norway. We've never done one before. So it's been actually, we wouldn't have really shown much interest in it before, but when we no. walked down here a few times, we've been like looking at them and like, ooh, like just like, you know. Because you can't believe how big yeah. some of them are. Yeah, that's what we were saying, yeah. We've taken notice of them now that we know that we're going on one. Because <laughs> this one is tiny. It's only got like, I'm guessing, two two levels of rooms, whereas some of them ones over there have had like eight or nine. So they are pretty big. And then we can uh, actually see them from our balcony, like coming in. Yeah. Um, so we've been like watching them and then timing them. What time are they going out? Oh, yeah. That one's not as it is long today. We're sad, I know. So there are a few different ways of getting around Funchal. You can, there's tuk-tuks, you've got open top hop-on, hop-off buzzies. Uh, there's a couple of different um, firms that do this. There's the yellow buzz, and then there's these red ones. Now, we recognise these ones. We've seen these in other places around the world as well. I don't know why. I feel like they've got this in London. I have I definitely so. seen yeah, that one somewhere so, else as well. But just bear in mind, it's great to go on the bus. It's like you say, there's different routes that they do. I don't know if um, you're going to get... Because if you've watched our Madeira Island tour, we hired a car. I don't know if the buzzies are going to get as high. I don't think these because buzzies do. Yeah, because the streets are very narrow. I think what there is, there's different coloured routes for some of these buzzies yeah. that take you different parts of maybe mostly Funchal. Like we said in, in the tour video, if you do want to go around and not hire a car, there is places that um, yeah. 
do jeep tours or bigger buzz tours and stuff like that. It's just not going to take it as high up into the mountains if that's no. what you were after, yeah. Right, so uh, we don't know if this is for the open top buzzies or just these yellow buzzies, but here's some prices. So it's like five euros for one day. I think that's for 24 hours. That says 24 hours there. Yeah, so there's some prices. If that's for the urban, so I'm guessing that's mostly around Funchal. That might take you up to Monte Palace. Uh, you'd have to just double check the routes before you did them, but that's for the non open top buzzies. And then for the combined, so they've got the yellow buzzies, which I've just shown you, and they're also a grey buzz. These grey buzzies are very old. Uh, they must be the ones that go around the island more. Uh, like we said before, we don't think they go up in the, the top of the hills, but don't quote us on that. Don't know how he gets up them sleep. Uh, I know. Uh, them steep hills. The hills as he turns, them, yeah. them hills are steep. We struggle in a brand new car. Uh, but that is 13 euros for one day. So if you're planning on going around the island a bit, you know, it's not too bad if you want to sit on a warm, uncomfortable bus. So they've got these like cool little tuk tuk uh, food trucks, if you want to call them. I think they're mostly parked up here. We've seen them here most days. They've got like a slushy one. Apparently, this milkshake one is very good, according to Google Maps. And also, I think that coffee one's maybe is very good as well. Keep meaning for try one of the milkshakes. We haven't, yeah, have we? We've had plenty of ice cream. Oh, the ice cream yeah. here is delicious. Tried a milkshake. No, but yeah, apparently, I think that's got like 4.7 on Google, so it's, it's got to be good. So, if you're interested while you're in Funchal on going either to see the Monte Palace Tropical Gardens or the doing the Monte Sled or the what else is it called? The Madeira, Bargain. yeah, the Madeira Toboggan. It's got a few different names. The one of the easiest ways is there's a cable car. But beware, you will have to queue. Now this queue is all inside, all inside here, and it's going, how far back are we going today? Uh, all the way down past all these little stalls, so it's quite busy. But if you want to do this, it's 12 euros 50 each for adults, one way or if you want to do it return, it's 18 euros. So if you're not afraid of heights, because it does go up at quite an angle, this is probably your best way of getting up there if you don't want to pay for a taxi and haggle a bit. But yeah, you can see the queue is all the way up there. Yeah, we have done, but we didn't go up in these because we're a pair of chickens. We have done the Monte Palace uh, tropical gardens and the Monte slash Madeira toboggan sled ride whatever you want to call it we have done videos on them but as we said before we don't know what order we're doing stuff so if you're interested in them keep an eye out you can just see where the cable car is like there's a good shot of this little street yeah it goes it, it is pretty high it's quite high up that mountain they do look really smooth like we haven't seen them rock oh no they, they do look yeah. really smooth I bet there is great views from up there but if you're afraid of heights then yeah this is my favourite drink ever. Well, not ever. I do like a grape soda, but this is a close <laughs> second. This is Brissa. Now, this is a local Madeiran uh, soda. It's not very fizzy, though. The main one is passion fruit, because Madeira is known for growing fruits, but they are really known for passion fruit. Yeah, it's like really refreshing on like a really <sighs> hot day. It's delicious. It's not like that fake fruity taste, no, is it? No, it says it's made with, I've seen it somewhere, 9% fruit juice. So it's quite strong, but they also do, they do passion fruit, pineapple, apple, and orange. I haven't tried any others yet. We have got a bottle of the pineapple sitting in the room. I haven't tried it yet, because And we've never seen it in like, like Spain or anything, so we're not sure if they actual, actually ship it off no, the island, or if it's do. just like, yeah. Oh, it says there in English. It if says, it's only consumed like in Madeira? Yeah, it does say original of Madeira Islands. Yeah. So, if you're coming to Madeira, make sure you pick up a can. And then another drink produced in Madeira, but we haven't tried it, is poncha. So Madeira's known for uh, sugar cane, and a lot of that is turned into this poncha apparently. It's um, it's like a brandy. It's got it's honey and sugar cane and uh, it's either made with lemon or orange juice. We did go for a meal the other night and they gave us like a little glass uh, and just the smell of it alone was too strong for us because we aren't really drinkers. So they said if, if it was a wine, she might have tried it. But uh, the smell alone of this little shot glass kind of put us off. So it's a bit strong for us. So this is Fort de Sao Tiago. I hope I'm not butchering that. Uh, it's just like an old 
rustic fort you can come walk around this is free by the way and um, there is a restaurant and they've got these two old cars right now these aren't just for show you can actually get picked up in one of these so Luke you can get picked up only if your hotel is near Funchal and you get uh, the best seat in the house overlooking the sea with your meal and then you get a uh, one two like a four course set meal and I think if you get picked up in this one so for per person it's 67 and a half euros each and if you get picked up in this one it's 85 euros each I like this one is this an old Rolls Royce you said I think it's an old Rolls Royce it's either an old Rolls Royce or an old Austin but doesn't that just look like a pure gangster car you could like imagine like Al Capone or somebody in that not as well, they didn't have seat belts back then, did they? They've got no seat belts in the front. No. In the back, there's just like a wrist strap. You must oh, is there like a wrist strap? You must pull yourself out when you're getting out, or... Yeah, it's cool. But no, I feel, especially for this one, for 67.50, for each getting picked up, I think the set meal... Can you remember how much that set meal was the other day? The set meal was at least 45 each. I know that, yeah, whatever you pay for the meal, the actual what you were paying for going in the car wasn't actually that much, no. was it? So for the difference... Not because you're getting picked up in this beaut. Uh, it is €45.50 Euros 50 for the set meal. So I feel for the extra, what, €22 Euros each, even if you got picked up in the cheaper car, it's worth it. Because you get a few extra bits and you get the best table in the house. But also, um, we've just noticed somewhere down here, all the gates are closed and this gate is closed. Because they've got a wedding on. Aww. We just, well, we're guessing it's a wedding because there's like a table what, like, chart. I've just seen a car with like a load of flowers pull up, so what like a beautiful spot for the wedding. But yeah, the other day we went through that gate and you could go like higher up. Yeah, there's like, a couple of levels, yeah, isn't there? There's some nice views up there. But we'll put a couple of pictures it. in yeah, what we never, did the other day. Never mind. So if you come off the seafront, this is like the first kind of alleyway street behind uh, where we were just sitting near the yellow fort. Uh, it's got loads of different restaurants down it, all different ones. We have found that Madeira is very good for food. There's a lot of nice restaurants and nice bars everywhere. Oh, and there's a lot of different choice as well. It's not just traditional kind of Portuguese kind of food. But yeah, definitely, um, like whether you're here for the day from a cruise ship, check out like these back streets, like come away from the front, because like, they're quirky and it's like the little art shop back there with like bits in. And, yeah, I was just about yeah. to say, if you can see here behind stays, there's loads of these painted doors everywhere. There's there's some abstracty kind of ones, there's yeah, some... Yeah, there's some right, again, quirky ones. We've been like taking this time walking up the streets, like looking at all the doors and yeah, you, you took some like photos and things. Of, there's like, some more just yeah. down there, but they're everywhere if you, you know, you want to get some cool little photos for Instagram or something. So this is the beautiful Funchal Cathedral. Uh, it started, work started in 1500s and was completed in 1514. It's got beautiful gothic styling. I feel like I'm on Homes Under the Hammer. I feel like we're trying to sell you this cathedral. But apparently uh, it's been blessed a few times or something. I don't know. Is that a statue of a Pope? I'm not 100% sure. But he looks very Popish. But anyway, it's a beautiful cathedral. And it could be yours for whatever it's worth. But it's beautiful. Oh, and I forgot to say, as I was trying to sell you this cathedral, uh, if you're interested, they do do tours. Don't know how much they are, just Google it. So there is quite a few people out and about now in the town. It's a Saturday when we're filming this, so obviously the locals are off work, and kids are off school. Ships in. Yeah, there's obviously we said at the beginning there's three cruise ships in, so it is pretty busy and especially up like the side streets, people are you know dining at the restaurants. So But like we did say, there is lots of restaurants here, so don't feel like you won't be able to eat. There's hundreds of restaurants, so you will always find some Even the pickiest eater. So when we first saw this like cool sign, we were walking up to it and we were like, surely like it's gonna be like a cigar shop or something like that. But can anyone guess what, what it actually sells in there? Because you wouldn't, off the sign, you wouldn't think it, but it is actually tins of fish. So yeah, it's a really cool sign, but yeah, tins and cans of fish is what they sell in there.
So yeah, well, like we said, this is a Saturday. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of kind of arts and crafts, fairy bits out. Uh, I think they might have a Sunday market as well. That might be more, f you know, local fruits and stuff like that. So maybe just have a look on the Visit Madeira website. They might tell you what to markets they've got on and what days. But uh, yeah, so Saturday seems like it's arts and crafts. Another thing Funchal is kind of known for is its parks. It's got these three absolutely beautiful parks that you can just come in. There's people here having picnics. I'm guessing some of these people are off the cruise. We came the other day, there was some guy in, there was a few guys in suits just eating like a sandwich and stuff. They'd come on the dinner. But they're absolutely beautiful. I can't believe this is free. No, you can see like the cruise ships, like it's really close to yeah. where they are, the harbour. And we've just uh, got some things, tasty treats from the supermarkets just opposite. So we're going to join all these other lovely people and sit and have something to eat. This is Madeira and honey cake. So, uh, according to Google, it's kind of like their Christmas cake. You can get it all year round. Uh, it's made from, it's, it's kind of brown, because it's made from their local honey, which they get from the sugar cane, which I'm guessing is more like a molasses than a honey. But it, oh, it does smell, there's cloves in it and nutmeg. There is some fruit in there, but I can't really see much, but it feels nice and moist, so let's have a bite. Mmm. It does have that Christmassy taste. It's a little bit, um, there's not as much fruit as I like, because from a British and English kind of Christmas cake is very fruity, but it's really nice though. Is it quite sweet or because of the honey? It or? is sweet, but because of the, like the cloves and the nutmeg, mm. it isn't overly- Tones it down a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it does tone it down a little bit. That's really nice, something different. It, Reminds me of a little bit of maybe like a, there's loads of lizards everywhere. It reminds me a little bit of a soaring kind of. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> Looks they show them. Oh yeah, they're just all like rounded feet to you. Got, there's everywhere. And then behind, there's like we're sitting behind I like think, a, we're sitting in front of a wall. I think and there's that's all these ones now. There's so many like in the wall. Still, there's still a couple there <laughs> in the wall. So we keep like if we freak out and look down, that's why. Well, well can't that won't I will. But it does remind me a bit like a soaring. Maybe put a bit of butter on it. I don't think I'd probably like that, do you think? No, I think you might. Oh. So I've just tried it. I see what you mean, Kev, about it either needs a little bit more fruit in or it is a little bit like drier than I'd like it. Yeah. Like you say, maybe like with some butter on or something. Um, it's nice. It's like, it's got loads of flavours in. Like it tastes like ginger. And like you say, like nutmeggy. Just them Christmassy spices. But it is like, it's just a little bit dry compared to something similar we'd have at home. But it's still nice, it's very tasty. Right, okay, so this next one, not even sure if it's even produced in Madeira or even if it's Portuguese. And so we thought it just looked really tasty, so we thought we we're gonna try it. Uh, judging by the name, Bolo Venezuelano or something? I think it says Bolo Venezuelo. Something. Wayland or Waylano. It so, looks really nice anyway. Yeah, we asked the lady and she said uh, it's made of this cake. She showed us the cake, but it's got like a custard in it. It's really messy, it's so wet. And, and my, coconut. All the wet has run through to like my hands. Like we were just saying it needs to be in a box really. That's nice. Is it? The sponge is like dead, dead soft and then it's got like bits of like coconut on. It's not, it's not dead custardy. Is it sweet? Sweet, yeah. It looks like it's going to be yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's nice though. Let me try and get a bit. It's really messy. I really like that. It was like 95 cents for like that big piece, but it's it's filling. Yeah, looks very filling. So we are absolutely gutted. We were just about to show you the, the market. I think it's called the Mercado dos Lavradores or something like that. Um, we came here the other day and it was such a like hustling, bustling. This is the fish market. He's just cleaning it down now. 
each one of these tables has fishmongers on it, selling all different types of fish. They had uh, such colorful fish. They had like these bright red ones. They had uh, a huge swordfish. Yeah. They had uh, the, the local black scarab fish. Yeah, which that is, was interesting. We yeah. did take some pictures, so we'll yeah. put that over, but gutted, yeah. With such a cool market. And then up to the top, there was a massive, was like, fruit and veg stalls. It was just like, like I've said, like, the hustle and bustle of just, like, walking around there the other day. It was so cool. Yeah, because yeah. we got to, we want to get some bits of fruit because, um, like, like Madeira is such a tropical climate that it grows such random fruits. Yeah. They've got, yeah. they grow so, oh, honestly, the pineapple I've been eating for breakfast at the hotel is the sweetest, juiciest pineapple we've ever had. You're saying it's like the pineapple has been like soaked in pineapple. Juice. Yeah, oh, it's like, delicious. It's and the, tasty, the, yeah. the papayas we've been eating. Oh, passion fruit, as you, that's why we drank that Brissa yeah. passion fruit drink earlier. Uh, the passion fruit drink. The, I've been eating passion fruit for breakfast and it's been nothing like I've ever tasted before. They've been so juicy, so moist, not like the dried, wrinkly yeah. ones we get back home. But there's been so much fruit I wanted to try. They had cane, sugar canes. I wanted to get um, like a, a, a line of dried yeah. chilies. Oh, absolutely gutted. Yeah, so this is all the fruit and veg guys packing up all the fruit and veg now, a lot of stands. We've just tried going. We've just been told it is closed. There is a few people wandering out like, but no, because they had cafes we ate in here last time and had some delicious cakes. Two little dogs. Oh, there's so many little dogs everywhere. I don't think they're homeless because they all look very well fed, but uh, they all hang out around different I think bits. just like with the owners of like, the restaurants, yeah. so, so they just kind of hang around, but they're so like friendly and like... Yeah, they are nice dogs. <laughs> so right, unfortunately that is shut, but fortunately for our bellies, we're going to go and eat some delicious bread. So this is Bolo de Caco. So it's, this is a traditional Madeiran bread. We see this being sold absolutely everywhere. Yeah. So I think um, traditionally you have it with like lots of like garlic butter on, um, but you can have it with like different kind of meats on. I've seen it um, being sold like as a hamburger. Yeah, they, do for, with meat on. they do it for breakfast with bacon and eggs, yeah. and scrambled eggs, or it's you sold know. like plain all in the supermarkets, and then guessing like you put your own yeah, butter on once this you get is, home. This the same as that Brissa um, passion fruit pop. This is in every shop, every spa you go yeah. in, every supermarket, yeah. everywhere, and it's dirt cheap. Yeah, it's like so cheap. This it? yeah, this cost uh, Stacy's with the garlic butter on cost two euros. The same size one in the shops is about a euro on its own. Yeah. So if you live there, you just do it yourself. But I love bread and I love garlic, so I, I know I'm gonna love this. Now, we ate at a restaurant the other night and we had pizza and they sold this on the menu, so we had some. This is so much nicer. Is it? It's so much like the bread's a lot softer. It's is it? more garlic. -y. Is that the one we had yeah, the other night? We, we said, said oh, we love it with more garlic. I absolutely love garlic, so I'm gonna read tomorrow, but. Oh, come on. So this one's mine. I aren't even going to try and pronounce how you say it in Portuguese, but it's pork cooked in wine and garlic. Oh, got a big chunk of garlic fell out. But look at that. And this was only one and a half euros more than Stacey's. I don't know how they do it. Oh, tastes of garlic. We got that little bit of winey kick. Oh, can you taste the wine? Just, the, Just you know, a little hint. A little hint of it, yeah, but. I mean, the pork is just so soft. It's been stewed for hours. Oh. You've got to like garlic for yours because you've got garlic put around and you've got big bulbs of garlic. Big bulbs of garlic on it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But three and a half euros for that. It, it weighs a lot as well. They were also cheap. The breakfast ones were about three euros. Bacon, egg on. I think this was one of the most expensive. Oh, I think the hamburger was a bit more expensive. But they're so cheap. Everybody's eating them. So that's it from Funchal. 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 <laughs> One Debatable. of them too. <laughs> yeah, bad day. A warm day, full bellies after yeah. all that bread and cake and it's, stodgy goods. <laughs> it's definitely a, it's an absolutely beautiful city on a beautiful island. Obviously, if you're coming here for the day, if you're just on a cruise or you actually make it over for a week like us to Madeira, it's it's just a really great spot. It's just yeah. a beautiful city. It really definitely. is. It's like a mix of like traditional and modern. Yeah, they've got, I like, like about the old it. town as well, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's these cruise ships behind. And we can see quite a few people still on the top deck and we're thinking what are you doing yeah, get, get off and come yeah. and see this beautiful city yeah for sure but like 
I'm just saying like food wise, on Madeira as a whole, but especially in like the you know the capital Montreal, Montreal. Montreal. Um, there's like food for like everyone's like yeah. taste. Like it's just really like yeah, it's really but traditional. Yeah. You've got there's a lot of sushi, uh, sushi like, a lot of sushi. Yeah, yeah. Asian, uh, yeah. curries. There's loudness. I mean, there's a, we found uh, the other night. I'll put the picture now. They were amazing. That burger place. Oh, like a barbecue yeah. burger place oh, where you could build your own burgers. So nice. It was yeah. the best brisket I have had outside of the States. It yeah, was you amazing. Said that, didn't you? Yeah, it was gorgeous. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed us showing you around. Um, there's still a bit more to come from Madeira yet, so don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. One couple's adventure. Yep. And yeah, we'll. Madeira is really hilly by the way, so we've got quite a bit of a walk back to the hotel now, a bit steep. Yeah. We've said that a lot on this holiday in videos, but it is, like, that's the thing about Madeira on the whole, it's just really yeah. hilly. But so. yeah, we'll work off what we've just eaten, so. Hopefully. Yeah. Bye. Bye.